Well, everybody, what is going on? Welcome to another episode of Tyler's Real Fishing. Today is going to be a, a planning slash travel slash unboxing vlog. All sorts of cool things going on, but we have to go get Pearl from uh, the trailer place. She was getting her trailer, the trailer fixed of some kind. Uh, and then we have to unbox some things, get a new camera, all sorts of cool stuff. So let's get in the car, make it happen. What's up, bud? Hello, I'm here to pick up a bass boat trailer slash okay. bass boat. Uh, okay. For Brian Anderson. And right there, you picking up. Sounds good. Got it. Thank you so okay. much. Okay, thank you. Get the boat. All right, everybody. Pearl is back. I think we had to get some new grease put in the uh, in the trailer. That way, it didn't run out of grease on our long road trip we're about to take. So, good old Pearl's about to go on a long road trip with us. And you guys will be excited about this one. It's going to be a really, really fun time. Now let's hit to Sean, head to Sean's house, and uh, see what he's got for us. Look, everybody. My friend. It's roommate Sean. My friend. Dude, how are you? I want to hear all the stories. Many stories will be shared. You Many guys know stories. Roommate Sean. Many stories. His afro is growing out. It's. Look, watch this. Watch this. Look how long it is. All right, Seanathan. I will see you back at college. I'm gonna you miss will. him the next two weeks. I haven't missed him in the past month. It's gonna be too long, man. It's gonna be way too long. Hey, but Canada needs you. Canada's yeah. calling my name. Oh yeah, I haven't told you guys I'm going to Canada, so. <laughs> See ya. I have too many packages. Let's go home and unbox these suckers though. That's how I'm feeling. All right, it is up. Make sure this sucker's in the garage. Yep, it's against the back. All right. All right, so everybody, welcome to another unboxing. Today we have many packages, I don't know if you can see them in the screen here, many packages to unbox. And so uh, I, as I mentioned a second ago, have a pretty cool trip coming up through Minnesota and Canada. Now you may have seen some photos that I posted about the trip, um, some stuff like that kind of leading up to it, hoping you guys can help me out with spots and locations and cool things to do up there in Minnesota, Canada. So this is stuff that I will be using throughout that trip and other random things as well. So first thing is a, uh, a dome for my GoPro. This here is gifted to me for the, for the trip by a buddy named Mitch Bergsma. You guys may have seen him. He does GoPro reviews and such. And so he let me loan one of his super nice domes for the GoPro. That's sick. Basically all you do is stick the GoPro in there and then the dome creates like a cool effect on the water where you can take a picture above and below the water at the same time. So that'll be used for some releases, that's for sure. Thank you, Mitch. Definitely don't advise cutting into yourself. The Eagle Scout in me would be uh, disappointed. All right, what we got here is two Lou's spinning reels. Now these two are the, uh, the Mach 2 spinning reels. I'll take them out for a second. I'm very low on spinning reels here at the uh, Tyler Anderson household. so. Told Lou's, hey, can I have some spinning reels? They're like, sure. So I need these for my Canada trip to catch walleye, uh, small mouth, you know, maybe some finesse types of large mouth. So we're gonna screw this baby in here. Woo! That feels good. That is awesome. I got the 200 size reels. They're not the smallest, but they're also not the biggest. This is most likely what you need for just regular bass fishing. And it's cool because it has the wind grip handles. This feels awesome for a spinning reel. So. I'm super pumped to use these up in Canada. Like that. What do we have next? Oh, I already opened up this one. This one's from Lucky Tackle Box. They sent me some cool Mustad hooks. And as a matter of fact, I'll probably be hooking up with Mustad. I'll be hooking up with Mustad because hooks. Okay, that was a horrible pun. I will be, uh, I'll be teaming up with Mustad here in the next few weeks slash months. Uh, hopefully, they'll be a new sponsor of mine. Met them at iCast. Super cool guys. What else do we got? Stuff from TH Marine. You guys know TH Marine if you don't. I will be working with them soon, so you will know them soon. No way. I didn't think they were gonna give these to me. No way. This is incredible. This is incredible. What? This is the Gerald Swindle culling system. At ICAST last week, they told me the only person that had these was Gerald, was uh, Jordan Lee, the only person that had them. And now I have them, that's incredible. Thank you so much, TH Marine. Thank you, Darian Craig. Man, I am pumped. So the cool thing about culling tags uh, is that it basically lets you know when you're fishing a tournament or just fishing for five fish limits, which fish you need to cull out. So like, 
if I was to look at this and say, all right, number five is my smallest fish, that way I don't have to go searching around my live well, I can just see the number five floating there, grab it and pull the fish out and pull it out. But usually, uh, you have to stick a, a piece of wire through the fish's mouth and create a hole, which oftentimes grows back, but a lot of guys don't do it correctly. And so this system here is a very strong clip system like that that basically clips onto the fish's mouth. And uh, they, they've been working on this thing for a long time, basically just stick it in the fish's mouth. It's better when you have a fish and you close it down like that and that is not coming off the fish's mouth. Sweet, thank you so much TH Marine. It came with a cooling, a cooling, uh, what is it called? Measuring thing as well to see which fish is bigger. Awesome. Next, I opened this one as well. It is from Fat Sack Outdoors, the app platform that I use and uh, tell you guys all about all the time. It's the tournament platform that you guys can fish uh, online tournaments against your friends against me. So thank you Fat Sack for the hat, for the cool shirt, and for the old vintage shirt. A baseball shirt, that's sick. And they also gave me a sweatshirt. So I'm gonna wear some of that stuff in Canada and in my videos in the future. Last but very not least is a package from B&H. Now comment below if you think you know what's in this package. I'm excited to open this up. Let's get started. So B&H is a camera photography uh, equipment website where a lot of YouTubers, especially a lot of camera people, buy their camera equipment. Now maybe thinking to yourself, Tyler, you've had a nice camera for a while. Do you need another one? Actually, yes. So. The more that I get into the YouTube game, the more that I get into filmmaking off of YouTube, I realize that I need more cameras and better cameras to uh, better equip myself for the, any situation that I may come upon. And so, uh, one of my good buddies, Walker Wilson, bought the Sony A6300. It does all the same things that my Sony A7 that I'm currently filming on does, but it also films in slow motion and it can film in flat color profiles, which basically means you can shoot in a lot harsher light but be able to add in that color in post-production. So. I ordered the Sony 6500, which is one step above the 6300, and it can film in 4K, slow motion, S-Log, all sorts of cool stuff. So let's open up this package and see what came inside. All right, first off, they gave us a cool camera bag. It is a yellow, rugged camera bag. Awesome. We'll put that to use at some point. Then they gave us this nice uh, battery charger, Sony battery charger. How nice of them. Oh, look at that. They also gave us some filters. So this is uh, basically filters that go on top of your lens that cut out harsh light, uh, that also cut out glares and stuff like that. And so, extreme USB card, 64 gigabytes. The Sony A6500, I think with the stock lens on here is a 16 to 50, and then this here is the 55 to 210. So I'm pretty jacked about this stuff, guys. Let's get into the unboxing. We're going to start by opening up the lens portion, the 55 to 210. I've always wanted a longer lens, that way I could get cooler shots from farther away, you know, wildlife, birds, that kind of stuff. So finally you got an E-mount lens for the Sony. And it is a beauty. Look at that thing. That is cool. That is very, very nice lens. I'm a fan of that. And then the camera itself. I always make these boxes so hard to open. Here is the uh, 16 to 50 millimeter lens. We'll get that out eventually. But then here is the camera body, the A6500. I'm so excited to use this camera up north. And hopefully this camera for a long time. I think this can be my camera for the next few years for sure. Especially since it shoots in 4K, uh, has slow-mo, all that kind of cool stuff. So. I can fill my own slow-mo top water. All sorts of cool stuff. Oh good, came with a battery, was worried about that. Didn't know if it was gonna come with one since I bought it through a bundle, but. Whew, there it is. Beautiful, beautiful camera. Man, I'm a fan of the size. It is smaller than my A7, uh, but it does more things. Also, I believe it has a pop-up flash. I could be wrong. So it has a sick viewfinder, and also this screen is touchscreen. One of the first Sony cameras that is touchscreen um, to be able to touch focus, to, to pull around points, do exposure, all that kind of cool stuff. So I'm excited to use this camera and get it started. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed that unboxing. I'm gonna go outside now and start probably organizing the boat, and I'll take you guys along with me. I've got a lot of stuff to do. All right, so basically what we have here in the garage is a plethora of lures, 
I mean, we have literally soft plastics for miles, just kind of drying out all over the place here with tackle in that corner and all of my rods in this corner over here. And so our goal is to get everything that I need for Canada in this boat in the next few days. And we just got it serviced as you saw today. And so we literally took everything out of the boat besides like a net and look, nothing in those compartments. So I have to literally take everything over there that I need for Canada, Minnesota, any type of fishing scenario that I can imagine and put it back in the boat as well as start packing for the trip. Uh, the boat is probably going to be used for a lot more storage than just fishing gear as well because I don't have a truck cap on my truck. So let the packing begin, but not until I go get some dinner. All right, got the goods. Payway takeout. Good old, oh, look at that lighting. There it is. Good old payway and chicken express. Why is my autofocus not on? Chicken Express Sweet Tea. This stuff is gold. If you haven't been to Chicken Express, go there and get the sweet tea. All right, let's go back home. All right, so we were picking up two days later here in the garage. I thought that I was gonna do tackle that day, but I ended up not being able to do it that day. So I did some last night and then a lot right now. So basically what I'm doing is I am uh, taking a bunch of soft plastics, anything I might need for Canada, Kitex, all that kind of stuff, and starting to put it in the boat. So I got some reels, got some reels there and then Basically working on all my hard baits. So I got crankbaits and Kitex and terminal tackle. I got a whole box of jerk baits because Pike love jerk baits. So all sorts of stuff going on. Might bring a few swim baits, but probably not. Probably not a few of those. So basically I have to organize everything into the boat for a two week fishing trip for every species up there in Minnesota. So it should be a packed boat. Let's get started. So a full two, two and a half hours later it is rainy outside, but I'm inside my garage, nice and safe. Almost done with tackle. I just have to move everything now from the garage floor into the boat compartment. So let's see what we got. So I'm trying to go as minimalist as I can because I know that I'm gonna be buying stuff when I'm there. So this is basically my largemouth box. It has uh, all sorts of soft plastic, Senkos, craws, flipping baits, worms, everything in this box as well as extra line and uh, extra bait casting reels. And then this here is my spinning reel side. So I got the spinning reels and then sorry, smallmouth side. So I have drop shot baits, tubes, everything I need for smallmouth in there. Got a bunch of my TRF who rags, gonna be giving those away. And here's all the rods that I'm bringing. I'm bringing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, only 13. So only 13 rods I'm bringing, that's all I need. And then uh, got some more stuff in the back to organize. And then here's all my, you know, soft plastics and jigs and crankbaits. Basically I've got a, a small box of jigs, everything from swim jigs to football jigs, uh, to flipping and finesse jigs and some craws and chatterbaits. Then a whole box of jerk baits as you guys saw. Whole terminal tackle box. This is my top water box slash one swim bait that I'm bringing right there. Frogs, floppers, spooks, poppers, all sorts of stuff. I'm gonna put more stuff in here. I don't know what though. I do have some crankbaits in here. And then of course, spinnerbait box. I only bring in six or seven. Uh, and so that's all that I have for right now. I'm assuming I'll add a little more tackle as I start thinking of things, but to be honest, I'm just going for small mouth, large mouth, and pike for most of my tackle stuff that I'm using. And so I don't think I have to bring all that much stuff. So we're gonna pack this in the boat and uh, get on with the rest of the vlog. I don't know what, what it's gonna consist of, but it's gonna be fun. All right, everybody. So we are here in the garage with cameraman number one, Taylor. You guys have seen my videos before. So we have the boat almost all packed. As you can see, we've got food in there. We got all the tackle, all the rods getting the boat all packed and then basically all my clothes things to live with and then all the things that go in the truck so it's gonna be a wild night not really a wild night it's gonna be a calm night of sleep and then a wild day tomorrow so am I in focus can you see yeah so we are uh, we're gonna end the vlog here if you guys enjoyed it make sure you guys hit the subscribe button um, I think this one will probably come out when I'm about halfway through with Canada so hopefully you guys have enjoyed seeing my Instagram and social media posts about uh, about Canada and Minnesota and stuff like that so Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel so we can hit we, so that we can reach 100,000 subscribers, and we'll see you guys next time.